everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Jenna before we get into today's video please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and you subscribe I would very much appreciate that I cannot believe it for today's video that Maverick here is one month old which means I am one month postpartum already like this month flew by oh my gosh like I just I can't believe how fast this month flew by like it's insane. Time soars when you have kids, I swear. Like, it just goes by so fast. I remember before I had kids, time in the days would just dread on. Like, they would just go so slow. And now it's like, boop, yep, it's, it's July now. What I want to talk about in today's video is, you know, how I'm doing postpartum, how this went for baby number two, Maverick, obviously, uh, <laughs> just because it's different for everybody. This time around, the first month postpartum-wise, it has been totally different compared to when I had Savannah. The first way it's different is I had her in January and I had him June 1st. So obviously the weather is a huge difference. I didn't have another child when we had Savannah and we have a toddler. So that also makes it very different. Both labor and deliveries were totally different too. We're in a totally different house. Our lives are just so different and I'm not heading back to a job. I knew that the clock was ticking for me to go back to work. That is obviously a huge difference compared to now where I don't have a, a clock ticking for me to go back to work. Let me say physically that I definitely recovered much faster this time around than with my daughter. I kind of had <laughs> to recover a little bit faster with a toddler and a baby and dogs and just life. I just had to recover faster. TMI, this is gonna be TMI. I will say that I bled pretty well for two weeks and then from week two to three, it kind of really slowed off and it trickled off. During those first two weeks, I was very sore, like very, very sore, incredibly sore. It sucked, but you know, I'm okay now. I wasn't picking up Savannah very often, but now I pick her up. Now it's not a big deal. I can do more things now than I could two, three weeks ago, which is really nice. I cannot wait until I go to my six week checkup and I can start working out. Like I miss working out. Right now I'm kind of enjoying not working out. Oh, it's okay. Right now I'm kind of enjoying not working out just because I'm still trying to sleep because somebody isn't sleeping the best. Some nights he does and then other days he doesn't. Like he just doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna stick to one schedule. So that's okay. I am also down to my pre-pregnancy weight. That's not saying much because my pre-pregnancy weight, I was still chunky. I wasn't, and I'm not the size that I wanna be. I definitely wanna lose about 20 more pounds. That's just me, that's what I wanna lose. I'm not setting like a time when I need to have this 20 pounds gone. I just know if I take 20 pounds off, my hips are going to feel better, my body's going to feel better, and I'm gonna feel better about myself in general. So that's just the goal that I've made for myself. I'm not stressing about it, it's just something I would like to do. Emotionally, I am feeling pretty good uh, there are times where I feel like I still have the pregnancy hormones and I do have a lot of hormones going through me still where, you know, there's certain parts in movies that I'll cry about that I cried about when I was pregnant or, you know, I kind of cried today cause I was like, oh my God, he's a month old. Oh, I just can't take it. Or when Savannah does really cute things with him. Other than that, I feel pretty good emotionally. Nothing bad or crazy is going on in my life. You know, I'm very thankful. All of my family is really healthy. Now, mentally, I will say I feel pretty good. There are some days where it is a little bit rough and I only say that because I feel like I'm at a crossroads with my reselling and with the business and where I want to take it in general. I really enjoy YouTube so I'm going to keep doing YouTube. I love making videos. I think it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. Rudy. Reselling has just been really hard for me to do. Like, you know, the stores were closed because of COVID-19. So I haven't sourced and went to a store since March, beginning of March. And I only got two shoes then, but I haven't done a big trip since January. I really miss it, but it's not practical for me to do it with the kids and with the still going on. It's just really hard. I say it's really hard, but it's just stressful. Like it's just putting this stress on me you know, to find inventory. I love reselling, I'm still going to do reselling, but I'm just at a crossroads of what's next for me. I don't want this to sound bad, but let me just say, 
I absolutely love my children. I love them so much. I love being home with them. I love it. I love it all around. I just love being home with them. But I am the type of person where I need something on the side. Like I like making money and doing things in business and being active on social media with that. Like I really enjoy it. I do have this new business venture that I'm going to be embarking on. I should be getting some of the stuff today actually, but I'm just really excited for this. This is going to be a new journey. It's going to be something that I don't have to go out and obtain and try to find babysitters or try to get my husband to, you know, and coordinate his schedule and everybody else's. Like this is something that I'm relying on myself for you know like I'm putting this on myself I'm not trying to rely on all these other people to help me with the kids like it is me so that's where I'm at mentally I just went on this big rant about like my life and how I'm feeling but other than you know the business thing I'm feeling really good mentally and I think this is really going to help one thing that is really nice this time postpartum <laughs> is the fact that you know he was born June 1st so it's really really nice that the weather is nice like it is it has been really hot but you know we have shade back here we have a nice backyard and I love that we moved because you know we have more privacy we don't have neighbors it is super nice I absolutely love it us being in this house and him being born in the summer really helps mentally with postpartum in my opinion because you know you get to be outside you're not stuck in the house all day when my daughter was born she was born January 31st and it was winter and it was cold outside and snowing I was stuck in the house all the time because you don't want to bring a little baby out in public especially to restaurants and risk them getting sick or just being around people like they're just too small for that so I was in the house all the time and it sucked <laughs> it did it was bad you know I'm in the house all the time now but you know I get to come outside or I sit on my front porch I rock him or I play with Savannah outside. It's just really nice. In the evening when Zach's home, sometimes we'll go for a walk or walk the dog. It's nice. It is just so much better at this house than the old house. So that definitely helps this time around. My biggest piece of advice for any mom during postpartum, <laughs> he just peed. Oh my God, him, Rudy. Yeah, that <laughs> you saw it, sorry. <laughs> my biggest piece of advice for any mom within the first month of having your baby is relax. You can't do it all. You won't get it all done. Do not stress yourself out. You know, it's hard because you know you have this new body that you're not used to after having a baby. You're trying to navigate sleep. If you're breastfeeding, if you have other kids, you know, you're trying to figure out this new routine, this new lifestyle. And you know, if you're a stay at home mom, you're trying to do that. And if you're a working mom, you're trying to figure out like, how am I gonna do this when I go back to work? Or how am I going to leave them? You know, how am I? How am I going to do this? Don't stress the small stuff. Like just don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. It's not worth it. It's going to figure itself out. You know, you have these hormones going through you. There's just a lot going on postpartum, mentally, emotionally, physically, in your house, in your home, of work, routine, in your relationships. There's just so much change in such a short amount of time as a mom. My advice to moms that have more, you know, like this is your second or third kid or whatever, my biggest piece of advice is I sometimes will get down on myself like I'm not spending enough time with him or I'm not spending enough time with my our daughter Savannah. I really get in my head about that and I'm getting better at it but just know you're doing a good job. You are doing the best you can. Everything is going to be okay. You might not think you're doing a good job, but you are doing a good job. And a lot of moms need to hear that more often. This is me saying it to you. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed my rambling of postpartum and how I'm doing and my advice. Hope you enjoyed my dog's peeing in the background. And I just had to get out of the house daughter's napping. I wanted to come out here, enjoy the fresh air. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.